everyone. Today I'm going to be talking to you about scale models. Now we would use a scale model to manage large units of measurement. So in your book you're going to be seeing how it works with distances on maps and that's a very common place to see a scale model. So for example a map or an atlas you would see a scale model being used and the reason being is that usually those kind of distances between cities um, for example are much much too large to be able to shrink to show on a map in real life a, a real life example of those kilometers so what we would be doing is we would be using a scale model to shrink it down a little bit for us to be able to see in our hands on a map or in a book and then using the key of our scale model to figure out how much that is in real life and usually it's just an estimate or an approximate amount. Um, so one thing we will need is a key that goes along with our scale model. So I'm going to use centimeters because that's what you're going to see in the book today. And then those will convert into real life kilometers. So for example, you're going to be measuring distances between two dots, which can represent two cities, for example using your ruler and then you will be using the key to solve how much that would be approximately in real life. So in my case here, I'm going to say that every one centimeter is equal to 10 kilometers in real life. So here I have the distance between Brockville and Ottawa. So I know that in real life it's not this far. I can't reach out and touch Ottawa. So that's where the scale model comes in. I'm going to use my ruler to measure, and right now my Brockville to Ottawa is 12 centimeters apart. Now, if I know that one centimeter is equal to 10 kilometers, I know that I would just be taking those 12 centimeters and multiplying that by 10 to figure out how many kilometers that is in real life. So 12 times 10 would equal 120. So the real life distance between Brockville and Ottawa is 120 kilometers. Now, at the same time, if you'd like to, if you're going to be plotting the map and you want to show how much 120 kilometers would be in centimeters, you just use your fact family and do that backwards. So you, if you're trying to create a distance of 120 kilometers, then you would use division and divide it by 10 using the key to find out that you would need to draw your line 12 centimeters long. So your scale model can work in both ways. For the most part, you're just going to be measuring and using multiplication, but you may see it where you would have to tell them how long you would make the line and then you'd use your fact family and do it backwards. So have fun working with scale models today. Working with maps is always lots of fun. See you next time.